There's new info on the second Destiny 2 DLC as well as an update to the development roadmap and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So late yesterday afternoon, Bungie released some info about the next DLC that is coming to Destiny 2 as well as an updated development roadmap. If you guys would like to check out the info for yourself, then you can find a link to the source in the description below. So the new DLC for Destiny 2 is not called Gods of Mars like many thought it was. But instead, it will be called Warmind, and it will be released on May 8th, 2018. Now, if you know a little bit about the Destiny history, the last Warmind was Rasputin. But according to Lord Saladin in The Rise of Iron, Rasputin hasn't been a Warmind in a very long time. So then, the question remains, is this DLC about Rasputin, or is it about another Warmind? one we never knew about. Could this DLC feature a new Warmind, or is it a returning one from the past? I guess we'll just have to wait and see come May 8th. But what all comes with the Warmind DLC to Destiny 2? Well, this will start Season 3 of D2 with Update 1.2.0, and I'll get into the development roadmap in just a few minutes. Also, with the Warmind DLC, we will be getting a new campaign, a new destination, new destination rewards, a new raid lair, new crucible maps that will be available to all Destiny 2 players, and this includes private matches. Yes, the ever so awaited private matches, as well as new legendary and exotic gear. To be specific, we will see all of the new crucible play maps in the quick play, competitive, trials of the nine, iron banner, and the weekly playlist like rumble and mayhem. And we'll actually get a chance to learn a lot more about this second DLC come April 24th when Bungie does their live stream reveal on Twitch. Next, let's talk about the updated development roadmap. If you don't know, update 1.1.4 is now live in the form of update 1.1.4.1. Yes, a hotfix was added last Tuesday and that just fixed a few minor things in Destiny 2. There is no, I repeat, no, April update, and I'm assuming this is because Bungie is trying to focus on the Warmind DLC that, once again, comes out on May 8th. As I said before, May 8th is the beginning of Season 3, and with this update comes Seasonal Crucible Ranking, Private Matches, a Vault Space Increase, and we're not sure how much space is actually going to be given to us, a Multi Emote Wheel, Exotic Weapon Masterworks, and Exotic Weapon Sandbox Changes. Seasonal Vendor Progression, Heroic Strike Modifiers, and Nightfall Challenge Cards? I mean, I thought we already had that. I don't know. Maybe it's just new ones. Also, in Season 3, during the summertime, we'll be getting a new seasonal event. Now, this is pure speculation, but the only main holiday in the summer is Independence Day, which is the 4th of July, which also happens to land on Wednesday, so it would only make sense that Bungie would do an Independence Day seasonal event. But like I said, that's just pure speculation. We'll also be getting an improvement to Faction Rally, bounties are going to be a thing again, as well as PC Clan Chat, and Exotic Armor Sandbox Changes is a possibility. Now, we do get a little insight of what Season 4 will look like, and apparently it'll start in September. Look forward to gear collections, records, weapon slot changes, weapon randomization, and much more. Wait, random weapon perks are coming back? Yes! The anticipation grind is back. Well, it will be in September. Then again, this makes me wonder if Bungie will change our current weapons to random rolls as well, or keep them and have us grind for the new versions. Also, Mods 2.0 is being heavily delayed, because Bungie is going to implement Mods 2.0 into the weapon randomization for September. I don't know about you guys, but Destiny 2 is really starting to feel like Destiny 1.5 more and more as time goes on. I guess Bungie is really starting to listen to their fans and what it is that they want, and have been asking for a very, very long time. So what do you guys think of everything that we know so far that is coming with the Warmind DLC? Also, tell me what you are looking forward to in Season 3 and Season 4. Personally, I'm looking forward to the random weapon perks making a comeback in Destiny 2. Then again, 
Bungie should have never got rid of it to begin with. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time. I was the active ghost last time. Now it's you. I've never asked that. Huh. I swear you did.